We all know there's seven days in the week, but wouldn't we just love one more day? I know I would. And wouldn't it be great if that day was Pi Day? We all love Pi. Who doesn't love Pi, right? Well, I'm gonna claim that day and let's create Pi Day. Welcome to the first creation in our Pi Day series. What I'm gonna be whipping up is a chocolate, coffee, and almond pie. Now there are multiple sensational textures in this pie. We got a little coffee and almond meringue that's gonna bring a little bit of chewiness and crunch. We've got a baked coffee and chocolate mousse, and we've got a rocher glaze that goes on the top, some almonds, chocolate. It's gonna bring a nice little uh, pattern on the top, a little finish, and we've got that delicious flaky pie crust that's gonna encase it all and just hold it together. Okay, so let's get cracking. Very simply, we're gonna whip the egg whites and sugar with a cream of tartar, fold through some powdered sugar, and then we're gonna melt this chocolate and give it a little bit of a marble effect, and that's gonna go into the bottom of our pie, and we're gonna bake that all together to create some beautiful textures. the oven. We're going to cook that until our meringue's golden and, and crunchy, um, roughly around 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Just make a, an adjustment to your oven. 
uh, at 170 degrees Celsius. Time for our mousse layer. Now that's our baked chocolate and coffee mousse layer, which is gonna be the final main texture of our pie, right? And it's gonna go on the top, on top of the meringue, and bake through like a, like a decadent sort of pudding. Uh, it's gonna be delicious. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna melt our chocolate and butter, we're gonna add in our espresso coffee, our freeze-dried coffee, mix it through, and then we've got our eggs as separated, we've got our whites and our yolks, we're gonna whip them separately with a little bit of sugar, Fold it all together, bring it all together, make a beautiful light chocolatey mousse texture. It's gonna pop it into our pie. We're gonna bake that for a little bit longer, bring it out, let it cool, and then we're gonna just put a little bit of glaze on at the end and yes, that pie is ready to go. beautiful chocolate and coffee mousse ready. I'm about to pour it into the pie, which I've taken out of the oven. It's about three quarters baked. The meringue's just, start, just, well, meringue's just gotten the crust on the top. Uh, the pie's pretty much developed its little bit of color and it's getting crunchy and flaky. And now we're gonna pour that mixture in and we're gonna pop it back in the oven and we're gonna bake it all the way through. Okay, our pie is baked, our crust is golden, our chocolate mousse is tender and soft and just nicely set. Last thing to do now, we're gonna put a little chocolate glaze on the top, like a Rocher glaze. It's gonna be some chocolate, oil, salt. We're gonna melt that, melt that down and we're gonna add in some roasted almonds. Uh, we're gonna do it in two colors. So we've got milk chocolate and dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna give it a, a real simple marble uh, texture. And Bob's your uncle. That's it, that's gonna be the finish on our chocolate, coffee, and almond pie.
sky is now ready. We've put the glaze on, it's all baked, looking amazing. Look at that, doesn't that look delicious? Huh? All those textures that are there, got a beautiful gloss on the, on the top. Now, one thing left to do, cut a slice and let's eat it. is looking sexy. Doesn't it look beautiful? Look at that. How good does that look, huh? Look at those decadent, delicious layers. Last thing left to do, let's give it a whack. Let's try it out, eh? Oh. If only you could hear that baked chocolate mousse as you just press the spoon through it, like little air particles squashing. It's just so cushiony and airy. It's, oh, I just can't wait to tuck in. Mm. This is so good. Yum. So good. That top layer, the crunchy rocher glaze, that little mousse underneath, and then that, that chewy meringue on the bottom. Oh, all those textures, and then that just crumbly, buttery pie dough falls apart as you bite into it. Yum, 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 yum. If you love this video, please like or subscribe so we can keep being creative and making more of these videos. See you next Pi Day.